today's session we will have a look at the packages in SAP. I mean the agenda of this video is right in front of your screen. So basically what are packages? Uh, it's one of the most important tools used for the implementation in the ABAP workbench. Okay, as the name itself suggests, it's our development class. I mean, consider it as a contain only, which stores the different development objects together that are developed by a developer. Okay, I mean, whenever you create any object, whether it may be a report or table, you need something to store it. That is when the packages come into your picture. You can store everything in your packages. So let's have a look at uh, what are the t-codes for the package creation. So as far as I know, there are four t-codes in the SAP which allows you to create the package. Let me take you through one t-code to help you understand how packages are created. The first t-code was SE21, right? So execute the SE21 t-code. Enter the name of, I mean, uh, if your package is already existing, you can just click on display or change if you want to do so. If it is new, just enter the name of the package and click on create. Provide any short description for your package. Keep rest of the components as it is. I mean, the application component will be blank. Then the software component and the transport layer I've already explained in my previous video. So, so you can have a look at it. Then comes the package type. So when you click on the drop down option provided over here, you'll get to see the three different types of the packages. Okay, the development package, the main package, and the structure package. So the structured package uh, is something that contains only the other packages. Okay, and these structured packages do not contain any kind of uh, development objects in them. Uh, I mean, their package interface are used to specify the relationship between the structured packages. Okay, then coming to the second uh, package type, which is main package. Normally, we do not make the use of this main package. I mean, it, it totally depends upon your requirement. Basically, a main package is a special package containing a set of package related by content. The main package does not contain any development uh, element itself like the structured one. I mean, the structured package. Rather, it provides a structure. I mean, have a look at this example. This is your main package. This is structured package 1, 2, 3. Four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now in structure package three, there are two more child packages, which is structure package four and structure package five. Okay. This is nothing but your concept of main package. And the third one, which is your development package. These are the these are the regular packages that can contain any number of repository objects. Okay. I mean, uh, wherever. I mean, as you can already see that the default populated value for the package type is development package itself okay now click on the continue it will ask you to save it in tr as of now i am not continuing it because i don't want to save it in any tr and yes there you go your z demo package is created I'll show you one another method. I mean, from T code SE 18, go to T code SE 18. From this drop down, uh, select the uh, option as package and paste the name. I mean, write the name of the package you want to create. Click on enter. It will uh, throw a pop up like this that this package does not exist. Do you want to create the object? Click on yes. And again, the same process. And once after filling these details, when you click on continue, it will again ask you for the TR. And yes, your package is created. Okay, great. So just now we saw the type of the packages. Now let's see how to move objects from one package to the another one. Now consider. You have already developed one object. Say, for example, you have already created one table, which is locked under one existing package. And you want to uh, move that object from one package to the another package. Let's see an instance. This is my Z test underscore data database table. Uh, click on the go to menu over here. Then click on this object directory entry. Then click on this change button and as you can see that this 
database table is already saved under dollar temp package okay you can change the package name directly from here and the package just now we created zdemo underscore package i want to save it under this package then click on the save button this object i mean this database table will get saved under this package it's that easy okay uh, now whenever you save something into your sap system it gets saved into a particular database table similarly the packages which you create into the sap system get saved into the database table name tdevc okay whenever you need the list of the packages that are present into your sap system all you need to do is just execute this tdevc table from sc16n tcode you'll get the list of all the packages which are present in your system whenever you create a package with prefix z or y it indicates that it's a user defined or it indicates that it's a custom object okay and rest all packages which do not start with either z or y those are all sap standard packages okay. and there is one another package dollar tmp okay it's nothing but a temporary object whenever you save any of your object under this package name it means we can we can't transport it from one system to the other right okay and yeah i guess that was all about packages thank you